Hi everyone, so here is another come shop with me at Farm Foods and this time it is a camping edition. Rather than going in for our weekly shop, I actually went in to get some bits for camping and ended up spending a lot more. It came to £71 in total but I did use the £5 voucher so that brought it down a bit but I didn't intend to get so much. So this haul is completely random. It was mainly supposed to be for the pack lunch, making a little picnic for the first day that we went. I did pick up a few extra things like those OXO stock cubes as they were just too good an offer to pass up. So we started with the snacks as always. This is just as you go into the store. So it always tends to be this first. But I was looking for cakes and biscuits Anything that was individually wrapped, which is a lot better for while we are out and about. These are the children's favourite cakes, so I had to pick up some of those. Then we also got some biscuits. They didn't have the penguin bars that we were getting before, the penguin cake bars at 49p, but there was still a lot to choose from. In fact, a lot of the offers that I had seen available for this week had already sold out. They didn't have any of the cheese that we got the last time for 99p and they didn't have, I was still looking for the soups that are at 9p, they didn't have those but they did have Heinz chicken soup and that was two for one pound so I think I will go back and get them the next time we're in. The only thing that put me off about getting the chicken soup is that the shelf life is usually a bit shorter when they reduce it down. And it's only occasional that the children will have any of the soup to tomato. They all just prefer to have tomato soup. So while I wanted to get it to stock up, I'm not sure if that will be possible. That will have to be something I check for next time. I picked up these biscuits because they were three for one pound. And they had lots of different flavours there. And it's just something quick and easy for a snack for them. I tried to keep it as simple as possible with the treats and the biscuits as I wanted the children to eat the rest of the pack up. Quite a few people mentioned on the last video that farm foods is getting a bit expensive and it does seem to be in some parts so there seems to be two extremes. It's either really expensive for items or not expensive but the same retail price as other supermarkets. And then other items they have really good deals on that you wouldn't get at other supermarkets. So one of the main things I came in for was some bread and some wraps for the sandwiches. And that's what I picked up. So I got one of these Tiger Bloomers. I also got two packs of the wraps. We don't really tend to stick to one brand. We just go with whatever is there. So I picked up these ones, but I didn't realise how hard they would be to pick apart. So I think we would definitely go for different ones next time. They all got stuck together. The second packet was better than the first, but yes, they didn't work too well. Then I also picked up some of the pancakes. Caleb pointed out that one says 39p, one says 49p, and we couldn't see the difference. Have been making my own, but as we were going to be away, I thought it would be a quick option for breakfast. I also picked up some of these Mars croissants. I was going to get them last time, but they were £1.69 a packet. They were again this time, but they also had a two for £2 offer. So this time I picked them up and the children really enjoyed them. I wasn't overly keen, but maybe if they were heated up a little, they might be a bit better. Then I picked up some of this burrito seasoning. It was only 19p. I thought, why not? So as always, they had so many different types of seasoning and they're often a really, really good price. Then they had every single sauce you can think of. I was trying to just get stuff for the picnic. So I picked up some of the tomato sauce which I'm sure is cheaper than it was last week. I, th I thought it was a pound last week, but now it's 59p. 
We were having curry, so I picked up two of these sauces as somehow we have managed to run out all of the ones that we had. And then I also got some salt to refill our salt pot. So next up, I picked up the Nando's barbecue sauce. It's still only 99p and the children went through it so quickly last time. I should have probably picked up a couple. Again, I was just trying to get stuff for this picnic, this lunch that I'm making. So I don't want to get too much. So next time I go, I will definitely pick up a few more than that. Then... And the veg items, again, I was just trying to get stuff that we needed. I did get the milk, that's two for two pound, and it's the cheapest I've seen for milk for quite a while. Then I wanted some cheese. They didn't have the cheese that we got last time that was on sale for a pound. I was also looking for some chicken to go into the wraps and then some ham too picked up some of the utterly buttery but to be honest I think we're going to switch to real butter and see how we go with that. These Cathedral City slices there's only six in there but it was 99p a pack so I got two of those. They had so many items on a free for three pound offer and Caleb really wanted this attacker snack. He was asking for that so we picked that up and then we also got some of the Dunkers as they were in the free for three pound too. It's not often that I pick up things like this. But to be honest, the children are going to go pack lunches. They don't want school dinners, so we're going to swap them back to pack lunches. So there'll probably be a few more times that I buy those now. As they're just really quick and convenient and the children enjoy them. Another thing that Caleb really wanted, he was with me and he wanted these chicken sticks. So we picked up two packs of those and they didn't even make it home. They were eaten on the way home. But that's another thing that the children really like. But rather than buying it in packaging, I think I'm going to start making it myself for their pack lunches as it's obviously better for them and it would be a lot cheaper. Yogurts, we just went for the fruits type style ones as they're mass free for while we're out. And these Nesquik bars, these are some of the children's favourite cakes. So we got three packets of those too. But they do have a lot of the yogurts and the fridge items, pack lunch style things on a free for three pound offer which is quite good. It's only about a 29p saving, I believe, on each packet, but that all adds up across the shop. Then I picked up some ham, as that's what we were having for sandwiches, ham and cheese sandwiches. So I got two packs of this breaded ham. Finally, the last thing that I needed from the fridge was some chicken for the wraps. They didn't have as much choice as they usually do this time, the children don't like chicken slices, so we ended up with these chicken money fillet ones. They were sweet chilli, I think, rather than spicy, but it doesn't matter either way. Iron Brew, we got 12 cans of the Iron Brew for 4 .99. Mark drinks quite a lot of this, but the children will obviously have one while we're camping. Another purchase by my little helper were these spicy ramen noodles. Caleb really wanted them and although they're 79p for one packet, which is quite expensive compared to the other ones, I think there's four for a pound at the moment. The 12p ones are not there anymore. We also got the pot noodles. The other ones seem to have gone back up in price, but these katsu ones were 49p. So I picked up four of those as Connor doesn't like pot noodles, but they'll be a really quick option for while we're out camping. Then we got some water because obviously we're going to need that and some juice to take with us. Best deal I can find at the moment is the Robinsons for 79p. I was going to pick up some of the chocolate spreads. But they have so many different options here and I decided it would be too messy for while we're out and about so I didn't end up getting that. We did get some strawberries, they're still 99p for 400 grams 
Some of them looked a bit questionable, but there was enough there to pick up some good ones. And we ended up taking all of these with us. So they have really good offers on the fruit at the moment. These bananas were only 49p, but everybody else obviously thought it was a good deal too. So there was only two left and they were already turning a little bit. We get through them super fast, so I knew that we'd be able to get through them anyway before that they went bad. Obviously have these big bags of onions. I think they were £3.49, so I would definitely pick those up next time. They also had the peppers for 99p, but this time they were not in the fridge, which is where they were last time. Now towards the end of the shop is all the snacks or all the chocolate and the crisps. That squashums ice cream sauce might be quite good. Picked up some of the hipples and then some of the kinder bars. Again, I don't think they're much cheaper than the supermarket, but they are two of the children's favourite. I also picked up some share bars and a Cadbury's bar too that can be split between everybody. And crisps wise, we ended up with some of the Golden Wonder ones. I think they were just about £2 and that was for 15 packets. They've got these sour cream and onion Doritos which were only 79p but this seemed to be the best value crisps that were there. They do have the Quavers and the Watsits and all of those but again they're a very similar price to the normal supermarkets. I did end up picking up some of the Pringles multigrain. I wasn't sure if the children would eat these as obviously they're different to the original ones but I thought at 89p it was worth giving them a go and seeing and they actually went down quite well. By this point I had spent more than I had intended to and we definitely had enough snacks and things for the packed lunches. It came to £71 in total but I have been remembering to take in the vouchers that you get in emails so I ended up getting £5 off too which brought it down a little bit. So I think for the price we paid we got quite a lot of bargains and everything that we needed for our trip.